Well, welcome to AI Toolbox. Today we're going to look at Kyber AI and their music visualizer tool. Kyber is a AI image and video creation platform, and they have all sorts of tools that allow you to create AI images and videos, and you can also transform them. And uh, they have a music visualizer that makes a static image come to life. Kyber will give you 200 credits free each month. Check the video description. I'll have a link and you can try it out, see if you like it. So when you log into Kyber and first create your account, you'll go to this screen to access the music visualizer that we're going to look at today. Click over here on your account icon and go into Legacy Kyber, feature that they rolled out on their first version of their platform, which looked like this. If you scroll down, they have three templates and something called Make Images Audio Reactive. So just click that. You start with your prompt. This is where you can explain what type of motion you want to happen in the visualization. You also are going to set your style. They have a lot of curated styles, so preset stylings that you can use, or you can just have something that you create on your own. And then this is where you upload your image that you're actually going to visualize. And then down here, they give you a song to start, but you can change this with your own song if you want to. So we are going to change the image out. And um, what I do when I'm looking for images to transform in Kyber, I go to Unsplash because they have a great free image library. So you just find one that you like and download it. Now go back over to Kyber and we're just gonna remove this original image and add our own. You wanna make sure that your image is no larger than 20 megabytes. Okay, I've uploaded the new image right here. And we're just gonna stick with the song that they provided in this um, tutorial. Now this is where we're going to tell tell Kyber what type of visualization we want. So I'm just going to write something like. Now to create the best prompt, you know, you'd really want to think about what's the purpose of this visualization, what are you going to be doing with it, what type of music will be played, and that would give you an idea of the type of motion you want. You could also use ChatGPT to help you, you know, structure your prompt. And the style of, we're just going to use one of Kyber's curate style. So there's a pretty decent library of them. I'm just going to try intergalactic. And then all you need to do after you've completed these settings is click video settings. Now, this is where you're going to set the motion. If you have a lower intensity, which is the lowest you can go is zero, you're going to have more predictable movements. If you move this intensity up, you're going to get wilder, crazier movements. So we're just going to put it in the middle. And model selection, so this is the stable diffusion checkpoint. You have the option of animated or photorealistic. I'm going to stick with the animated. And then motion, we're just going to leave it at the setting where Kyber has placed it. There are different versions that Kyber has released. In some of their models, you can actually change the version, so you could go to a lower version. But with this one, you have to use 3.0. So audio reactivity. This is the camera movement. If you want your camera to move more or less with the audio, then you can select one of these levels. We're going to keep it on high and just see what that gives us. And now we're going to go down here and click Generate Previews. You'll see here that Kyber tells you how many credits it's going to cost to produce this animation. So this will cost 80 credits. It's this more expensive side. There's a range of costs in Kyber, so you can create an AI image for as low as one credit or a video for 20 credits. When you are adding music and audio, re re audio reactivity, it's definitely more expensive. So now click generate. And before it creates the actual animation, it's going to give you a preview so you have a good idea of what you're getting. Okay, we get to choose from one of these. Kind of looks similar, but you can see that these two look a bit more photorealistic, while this one looks more animated. I'm going to go with this one because it looks so much different than the others. This is going to be playing for 16 seconds. Let's see if actually you can adjust that. So you can't. When you're doing regular animation without the music, it lets you adjust the timing. But with this one, it doesn't. We're going to stick with the 16 seconds because that's the only option it gives us. My options kind of changed a bit. I don't have the same look, but that's okay. And now you click this huge arrow and wait for the animation to complete. Okay, the visualization is complete. Let's take a look. Our animation is complete. Let's give it a test. This 
pretty interesting. It transformed the jellyfish into a woman. It does a good job at syncing the movement to the beat. This is an example of how you can create music visualizations really easily. We did this really quickly, less than 10 minutes. So check the video description. I'll have a link to Kyber. You can create a free account, try it out and see what you think. Thanks again for watching and I'll be back soon with more tutorials.